Thunder Engine. That way, like, you can just have it drop in and drop out with, like, weird online shit. Like, gran like granted, like, there's rollback is a lot more complicated than that, but that was kind of a big idea in deciding a good rollback game. At least, you know, as, as far as I understand. Yeah. Like, as long as you have the display pipeline and the render pi and the game pipeline separate, like, you can kind of use, use that, leverage that to make a rollback game. I don't know, I'd be, I'd be curious to see if they ever interviewed the guy that added a rollback to Melee. Like, what an amazing project. Well, I, no, it was one dude. That's what was nuts about it. It was literally one dude. I think he was like a software engineer that was like, I love Melee. I have money. I'm going to take some time off my job and just do this. And like, he did it in like, I think six to nine months. Like, definitely deserves to get paid by Nintendo, but Nintendo sucks, so that's not a thing. Well, they, I mean, they still haven't released a HD of, uh, Well, that's what I'm saying, like, it'd be really cool if they... So, if Nintendo wants to win PR back, this is what they do. They call up dude and be like, bro, we love what you did. We're gonna do a Melee HD remake for its XX anniversary. We want you to be in charge of making sure it has a rollback for the Switch. And then instantly, like, like rather than all the hate they're getting right now for, like, because you heard what was in the news just a second ago about how, like, uh, Melee was about to do a major, um, and Nintendo sent them a C and D. And well, no, basically they asked them politely not to have Melee, and they're. Yeah, it was gonna be an online major. I think it was Big House, or it might have—it might have been Big House. Basically, there was an online major that was gonna happen with Melee in it. It was Big House, and Nintendo asked them politely, like, "You, you guys can do our current game, um, which is you know Ultimate, but you guys can't do Melee." And they're like, "What the fuck is this? No, like, we put, we, we've spent so much time building this community, especially with like a dude who basically invented net play for Melee. We're just gonna do it." The Nintendo set them like a C and D and shut the whole thing down. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't hear about that? Even Max had a post about that. Like everyone's been pissed. Um, I, I, haven't, I haven't actually. I, I know of the post, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. You know, everyone's been pissed lately about that because I mean, it's Nintendo literally just not letting the community, you know, be a community. And like, you know, I think about C and Ds is like, yeah, you can fight them in court, but you need money. So no one, no one wants to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like one. That's like a lot of legal emulation. issues. It is. Well, emulation's already been proved legal, so it's just like ostensibly, yeah, yeah. Um, there's some company that took PlayStation to task over it, and they basically won every lawsuit. But like, they were in like almost six figures. Or, like they're at least like in like the 50 Ks of money spent by the time they were done. And like one of the companies went under. So like, yeah, I mean, if you want to go up against a big company and you have the money, you might win, but it's going to take a shit ton of money. No one wants to do it. So a lot of these companies get to file these lawsuits that they would actually probably lose in court, but no one wants to spend the money to fight them on. So it's a big bummer because, um, you know, the Melee community just wants to, you know, play the game that they love. And Nintendo's like, fuck you. No, if you guys are doing it through eight, like emulation, it's illegitimate. And it's like you guys don't even sell this game anymore. Like, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's true. That make any sense. Like, well, yeah. Like Nintendo just wants to fucking do their walled garden bullshit, and it's like this is a game that's like 20 years old. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Nintendo? Like, you want you want money this bad? You want to like to make your claim current? Just fucking do the cool thing and re-release the fucking game, man. Like, it's not like you guys probably don't still have the source code. Just re release Melee on Switch. Like, people would fucking love you for it. They would, yeah. They, they would keep doing that. Yeah, if, people, if they re released an HD version of Melee on Switch with rollback, like, people would fucking love Nintendo forever. Yeah, that was emulation. Yeah. But, I mean, even if it was, I mean, that's what, um, what's it called is? Mario Sunshine. Like, Mario, Su like, not Mario Sunshine and Mario 64. Like, it's, it's just Nintendo's own custom emulator, but it's still emulation. Yeah, but that's, like, the big criticism. Right? Yeah, but I mean, like, it, what was it else it was gonna be? Like, it can be emulation. I don't give a fuck about that. It's an old game. It probably does run well. Oh, the, the, oh. So the, the problem is, is that, um, 
they put like no, it's a, they put no effort into those ports. They, so, yes, but like I don't know if you followed the history of that, but like they honestly like release a new patch every month, adding in all the features people have been complaining about. Like they added back in game people. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's not time. They added back in GameCube controller support. Yeah. They added back in controller inversion because the original game is inverted, so it makes no sense to not have it. That would be a feature available. So like every big thing people have complained about, they've added back in slowly. Do you know about the Mario 64 thing? I don't. What? What is this? So the Mario 64 version that they're using is the the Japanese one. So all of the, um, all of the hacks and all of the, like, speedrunning shit is not in it. Ah, that's hilarious. So, like, everything like, that people love about Mario 64 speedrunning is, like, is null. And you want yeah, that kind of sucks. What, I mean... Like, so, like, all that, like, bust kind of stuff up the stairs and you can't do anything. I mean, but like that's one of the things where I'm like, the, it's a Japanese company, so they're probably gonna favor their version of the port versus yours. Well, I mean, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be cool if they did both. But like, I, I get that like they they had to pick a a, a release a release version and they went with theirs. I would like honestly, if I could, I would play Mario 64. I would learn to play like Mario 64 speedrunning. Yeah. No. Because if you think of speedrunning, what do you think of? Mario 64. Um, At least I do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like, I think of that like half a press video. But, yeah. Like the Rolling Rock, something, something, half a press, when it explains like the theory of like Mario Kart speedruns. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, but yeah, I mean, that's probably all in the American version. Or the, the Western version, I should say. Is in the Japanese version. Yeah, I get it. So like, that, I mean, and like he doesn't say so long be faster anymore. Yeah. So well, people can learn. People can learn the just to speedrun the Japanese version. But yeah, I agree. It's probably not. It's not as cool. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's a separate category to speedrun the yep. Japanese version. It's already been like well established at this point. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? K.O. Nice. Okay. Okay. I take my jacket off. Yeah, as long as it's not poopy green Terry, we're good. Green poop Terry. Damn, this is such a good game. Fuck. It's a good game. It's like, there's not many characters, so you can just learn. You know, it doesn't feel overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of modern fighting games feel overwhelming. Like, you got 40 plus characters, and it's like, oh my god. Um, like, as it is, like, I still need to learn SF5 better, but. Oh, okay, so speaking of SF5, SF5 news. Um, if you look at their timeline, uh, it says we're getting Dan sometime this winter. Um, but not only are we getting Dan, but with the December update, we're getting a new battle mechanic. So I'm really curious about that, because I'm like, an entirely new battle mechanic could be like a huge change to the system. And one of the things I've always bitched about SF5 is that like, there are just no great defensive options. Like, even V reversal is kind of trash, and they're super unbalanced between the characters, but it's a whole separate problem. But yeah, like, it, like imagine if they added like, like a V reversal backdash or something like that, or like a can like something crazy like that. Yeah, like a cancelable V backdash. Oh my god, I've cream myself. Like, 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 imagine, like, instead of doing a V reversal, like, you burn one V bar, instead of a reversal, you get an invincible back down. Like, oh my god, that game just became an entirely new game. So I actually want to play. Because, like, just some of the mix ups in that game are just annoying as fuck, and it'd be really cool if there were, like, new options to get out of them. I don't know, what do you think? What, what, what is your what is your dream battle mechanic for that game? It'll be fun. Yeah. Because other than that, I, I don't have much to fucking play. Yeah. Like, I would love, like, I just want to play, like, Street Fighter 2, uh, um, Sakura, like, Alpha 2, Sakura. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know. I, I really don't. 
I don't, I don't know. Like, I, when I have gone back, and I was like, you know what? I want to learn to play, like, older games. The first mm -hmm. thing I noticed is that they're automatically way more fun than Terry. Well, well, a lot of them are faster, too. That's kind of the problem. Hey, like, we're talking about, like, you know they need to slow one. things down. Fight! Well, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it? Wouldn't you say five is a slower game than like SF Alpha or any of those? Like, yeah. Yeah. like the time per decision making is a, a different. Um, and yeah, it's again. Like, I, I, I thought Invincible Backdash. Like, the more I learned about Invincible Backdash, the more Backdash from four, the more I'm like, damn, four has some really cool defensive options. Yeah, I mean. Like, I just feel like that's what lacks from five is that like it's just offense. That game is offense. It's so much offense and I'm just boring. Well, yeah. I mean, I just don't like the. I don't like the boost system. I don't think it was well balanced. Um, I don't mind it as a comeback mechanic because essentially it's it's basically this game's version of um kind of ultras. It's just a little bit more complicated. Um, that was really cool. Uh, the reversals are okay, I guess. Like, it's kind of cool that, like, if you know what you're doing, you can, like, bait them and, like, to punish them. Like, they're almost like they're a burst. But then again, some V reversals are escapes and some V reversals are attacks. Like, V reversal just feels such an unbalanced mechanic between characters. Like, some characters' V reversals function entirely differently. Um, but yeah, dude, I just want that game to have an invincible back. I think it would be a sick ass game. If it did. That was really cool. Did I just just defend it? Like, that's the thing, is like, that's a lot of what I've seen in high level play, is like, they just defend to super shit like that. Like, they've, they've been playing long enough to where they've got that down. By yeah. the way, the really dope thing about having a mister is that, um, I told you about all the Neo Geo catalog, right? Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's my favorite thing. Yeah, Mr. There's no delay, too. There's no delay on top of... So it's like you're playing the actual hardware of the system. Yep. Yep. Oh, well, that's cool. I want to... How's that? In, in, in the many things I want to do, if I were more motivated, because... Um, and had a good playing job when I had free time, I'd want to learn more about emulation. Because, like, I feel like one day it'd be really cool to design a system that just emulates all games really well. Yeah. Um, and, like, I wonder if you'd have to do that with, like, hardware, um, like, F FPGA stuff, kind of like the Mister, or if you could just do that with software if you got to give it up. It is. The, the future is <laughs> FPGAs are pretty dope. Like, like, think about it. Like, once, the, uh, once all the systems die, what are we going to have? Like, in my, in my personal opinion, if I could have, like, you play with me on a PGA, I would, instead of, like, on a well, I mean, you can probably add a network card to an FPGA too. So, I mean, there's probably ways, but I mean, honestly, I think the future, unfortunately, is streaming. I think like people are gonna become dumber and dumber and not want to own the hardware. So, whenever Stadia becomes a thing, it'll just be the thing. And I mean, companies love that shit because it's like, oh, sweet, we don't have to have like one-time product sales. We can just like keep people charging the same shit for forever and ever. Yeah, well, it's, it's not even just that. It's, it's gonna cost too much, and it's that no one's gonna wanna... If, like, if streaming were perfect and fast enough, everyone's just gonna wanna do that. Um, which sucks, because, like, essentially, that means everything's gonna turn into a software-as-a-service model. And I think software-as-a-service models are inherently lazy, and they just let companies make money off the same product year after year with minimal improvement. Well, just think about, like, how much money Nintendo's made. Yeah. Off of just releasing the same games every year. Like so honestly, that, that's my other thing. And like, I, ha I have to think more about how it'd be implemented, but there really should be a digital sales tax for companies of like certain size where I'm like, yo, listen, like, yo, the listen. thing about it, digital products, like, once you make them, they don't degrade. Like, yeah, maybe the hardware, like, you'll want to run a better thing after a while, but the product will always be minimally functional. It's not like a, a car which breaks down over time, you know what I mean? So like yeah. there should be a tax, because like a, a, like a program, once you make it, you just copy it an infinite amount of time to keep making money. Like it, it functions entirely differently from any physical product you're going to make. 
So there really should be a tax on that to be like, yo, listen, like, why do you think software companies became the most dominant type of company in the world? It's because they can make money off a one-time investment infinitely. Um, so there should be a tax that recuperates some of that money and like funnels it in a, I don't know, public education or something like that. Because fuck, when they automate everything, where the fuck are the jobs going to be? Baby. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, fucking... Did you have you seen that like meme that was going around about like? I think it, I might have quoted it last time, but like Zuckerberg's wealth in 09 versus his wealth now, and it's it's like it's, it's, it's literally gone from like in the double digit billions to the triple digit billions in like one billion. What? No, no, like a hundred, hundreds of billions. No one's a trillion. At least not a few. That would be nuts. Um, but... Bezos is like... Bezos supposedly is the wealthiest person in the world, and I think he's sitting at almost like 200 billion in wealth. But like, a billion is more money than a single human would normally make in a, life, a lifetime. Multiple lifetimes, in fact. It's that much money. Like, people don't understand how much money exists. I mean, I think, isn't it like a billion is like what's considered a lifetime? No, no, a million, a million. Yeah, no, no, like the estimated, I think median income earner makes two million in their lifetime. In their lifetime. And a billion is like, yeah, it's a hundredfold on that. So it would take you like a hundred lifetimes to make a billion. Um, at the median salary. And like, these people have hundreds of that. Like, people don't understand how much a billion is. Like, it's a fundamentally broken idea. Like, the human brain doesn't get it. Because it's like, they see their day-to-day -day expenses, and they hear the word billion, and like, it doesn't add up. Like, they don't get it. And it's like, it's so stupid, because if you look at the wealth distributions, like, so much of the upper... So many of the, like, it's like four people own more wealth than half of the country. Like, four people own more wealth than like 127 million people. It makes zero sense, bro. Like it's it's not efficient because there's 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 a, the, there's a fundamental problem with money where it's like if money isn't spent, it's not generating wealth. It's just like accruing interest, which isn't always a good thing, honestly. Um, but like when there's something called like the velocity of money, where it's like when money is spent and when it like passes through an economy, like it creates long-term assets over the way. So like it actually creates. Like, spent, spent money creates more wealth than money that's saved, if that makes any sense. So, so they're uh, essentially wasting all that money by having it up there, because so, it's not it's not circulating. Well, yeah, but that, that's the thing, is, like, that the rich get to do that because of the trickle-down effect. Well, I mean, that's the thing. There is no real trickle-down effect. That's the problem. Like, money, money needs to be, like, you want to put money where it's going to be spent the fastest, yeah. Because that have the most long-term effects on improving the economy. And because so much money is perched like above where it gets spent, it's not really efficiently stimulating the creation of long-term assets, which is good for everybody. That's how economies get bigger in size. Um, so it, it creates like an imbalance problem of just kind of the economics of like... like How I want to think of it is like it's kind of like an engine where like different like fuel mixes like if you have too much oxygen or too much fuel you get different types of burns and like the best burn is like somewhere right in the middle it's also the middle point like that's kind of the fundamental problem we're running into the economy now is that it's top heavy on one side and it's not getting an efficient burn i'm trying to say that there's too more too many elon musks in the world I'm definitely trying to say there. It's not even that there's too many Elon Musk. Is that like the government doesn't want to do the job it should do, where it, it rel it, like it, it relegates how much money the richest person can make versus how much money the poorest person can make, because the richer everybody is, the more long-term assets get created. Like I, it, it, like I feel like people forgot that like economies are built like from the bottom rung at a time, like not the top rung. Like it, it, like. You're, you're only as strong as your weakest link, you see what I'm saying? Right. But you know why that is. Everyone has, what? Like, people are, are... Everyone's worried that the other class is going to take money away from them. Fight! Yeah. Well, are, are, the, so are the poor worried that the other class is going to take money from them when they are money from them? Middle class is like, 
class and upper class. Yeah. I mean, I like, I guess, but like, I so like the middle class is worried about the government taking money from them because they already probably take on too much of the tax burden as it is because we don't force companies and the richest to pay honestly their fair share of taxes. And like, then you have even bigger idiots saying there should be a flat tax. Like, no, that's not how taxes work. Like, a flat tax. Like, everyone, everyone pays. Everyone pays the same rate. Like, say your tax was set at 32%, it would be like everyone would pay 32%. And it'd be like, no. Like, we have a progressive tax rate for a reason because that's how you want to build a society that improves. Because again, it tries to capture that entire problem. It's like, well, if the rich have too much money and it's not getting spent, then that's a problem because money needs to be spent to keep economies moving and growing. And I, I think the rich forget that because they're like, ooh, more money means more resources for me to do stuff. But it ends up sitting because there isn't any stuff to do. It's, it's not even they're not spending like a normal person is. It's that like growth is one of those things where like it tends to happen in the middle. Um, and then it grows outward from the middle. But like if all the money is kind of up at the top, it's, it's not really, it doesn't create authentic growth. Like, you kind of can prey upon good ideas that come up to you, but at the same time, like, the foundation for consistently higher and better ideas, like, isn't there. Like, it's one of the, like, the things that, like, I don't understand about, like, this country not wanting free healthcare is that, like, if everyone had free healthcare, that would take so much of the burden off employers, because your employers have to, like, match a certain portion of your healthcare. Oh my God. Like, it's not... It's not just you paying for health care, your employer pays for it too. And I don't know if you've ever had, like, job health care, but it sucks. It's terrible. And it's it's terrible because it's that's a, it's another capitalist race to the bottom. Like, it's it's like lowest bidder where, the, like, the company wants to pay the least amount. They have to pay for the health care. Yeah. yeah, of course, they think you're a shitty plan. Like, well, that's how it, yeah. Exactly. They're charging you at the ass for, like, uh, a pay window of $2,000. Yeah. Which even people... Like, like, I have medication, like, medical bills, like, basically, like, they're on a few months a month basis, and they like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the whole, like, uh, what's it called, deductible shit is just, like, yeah, like, oh, it's it's the biggest scam in the universe. Like, let's get them to spend, like, $5,000, $2,000 of their own money before we ever help them. Like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, of course those people are gonna avoid going to the doctor. They don't even have that money. Yeah, when it like it, it probably is that bad. Like it, in fact, it, it often is that bad. Like yeah. it's there's like like I don't want to get like fucked up, but like there's this statistic about uh, black people and amputations, and apparently like black people get the most amputations in the country. You want to know why? They're, they're poor and they can't afford to go to the doctor. So by the time like they need to go to the doctor because like shit's about to fall off they're like yeah we can't do anything for you we're gonna have to amputate because we didn't see you until shit was like yeah you're gonna lose there's nothing we can do that is a true citizen country like black people have more amputations because like they're like ah, i can't afford the doctor and then you know if, if you you can't avoid the doctor forever if it's a life threatening illness when, when I went, lived in Virginia, um, yeah. I used to work with this this lady named Eunice, and, and she would um, she would tell me that she didn't go to the doctor and she didn't get on medication because that's how they get her. Yeah. They, they'd get her. You know yeah. what I mean? Because she figured... And that's a negative feedback cycle of fear because again they hear all the horror stories of people that just couldn't afford the doctor before it became too bad where it had to be bad yeah. and then it becomes a, a thing where like we well we now we think all doctors are on evil conspiracy you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep um and that was like a that was a big thing was like she refused to, to go to a doctor and and like she was but she told me as like a piece of advice it's just like you know don't don't do it you know get serious round uh, one fight but i don't know like i also yeah i mean look, there, there's sometimes you need the doctor and like if you're too poor you're just fucked and i guess the country decided that was a smart thing to do even though like literally every metric 
shows you that healthy workers are like a huge margin more productive. So you're actually losing money by not taking care of people. But I don't know. Like, America has this weird like social Darwinism hard on. That's not a real thing, but I, like, oh, you're you just want. To, you're talking about like, uh, well, you gotta yeah. earn it to be able to go to the doctor. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Like they just want the poor to suffer and die because apparently they're not worth it. Like well, it's, it's very weird. It's so it's very that, it's, it's so that because like every middle class person I've ever met thinks that they're gonna have to pay for us going to the doctor. Yeah. Hold on, is my controller working? It is not. Why is my controller not working? Oh, let me unplug my controller. Um. Alright, uh, hopefully this works. Nope, it's not working. Shit, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Ooh, he's an AI now. He's he's a, he's gained sentence. I can't I can't stop him. What is happening? Bro, you're gonna have to fight this one. I can't I can't control him. You gotta defeat Skynet. Oh, so I'm an idiot. Cause I just unplugged my killer for no reason. I thought I was Terry. What? You know, no, I'm not paying attention, so that's on me. Well, that's why Freeman had the black swagger. <laughs> Exaggerated sweat of swagger of a black. Yo, that was so fucking cringe. And people were trying to say, well, it was, it was because he was like, if he, he was okay to say that because he was black. I'm like, no, that was some corny ass shit, bro. It if was any other black person in the room would have told him, like, no, you can't say that. You just can't say that. <laughs> like, I, like I feel like, like. I feel like like level one fingers have this rule where they're like, well, if it's, it's if a black person says it, it's legit. And I'm like, no, black people can be just as stupid. We can say some dumb corny ass shit too, bro. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like it's don't, like, don't. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it was. It's kind of like if a black dude makes like a racist joke around white people. Like if other black people were around, they would have beat his ass. I'm like, no, you can't say that. You can't say that shit. I can't say that shit around these people, but no, he wants to be cool among the white folks, and it's like, fuck you, bruh. What? Like, you make, oh. you make it a smaller bed. Like, fuck it, just, ah, I don't know, man. Sometimes you just gotta be like, like, I wish his grand, like, the spirit of that man's grandma was there to smack him on the back of the head when he tried to write that fucking review. Because that shit was whack. But yeah, like uh, the exaggerated swagger of a black man. I'm like, bro, you can't. No, <laughs> just no. Black teen. There's a black teen. Uh, I'm a black teen. I'm a black teen. Yeah. But I'm like, how did how did none of the other editors be like, no, bro, this shit is cringe as fuck. Listen. Yeah. You can't say that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it's I'll, just I'll be part, like, part, part of like the like growing pains. Yeah. Like, going as a nation, like, it is. It is. Like I, but like uh, part of my part of my like part of my like. Part 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 of wishes like an in the know like white friend editor of him would have just been like, bro, like I know you think you can say this, but you can't say it. <laughs> we can't say that. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if uh, uh yeah. I don't know if, if not, not, not in the way he not in the way he did it. That was just, that was cringe as fuck, bro. Like he will he will never live that interview down. Like I've seen that meme on so many things that were like unrelated to Spider Man. Like even uh, Cap Castle Super Beast talked about it. They did. They did it, yeah, they did. It was in. It was on their uh, like two best friends subreddit. Like, did, did they talk about it today though? I don't know if they talked about it in show. I bet they probably did. Because usually if they talk about it in show, the community talked about it. But like it was definitely talked about on their subreddit. So I'm just wondering if Matt, uh, Pat, and Wooly actually brought it up themselves. Like I know people in their subreddit were, were making jokes. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll talk about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's been talked about, because it was just, it was that crazy. Fuck, I was about to raise the sword. Gotta be quicker than that. God, these backgrounds. Fuck, I miss good pixel art. Yeah, I mean, it's a lost, yeah, it's a lost art, man. It really is, and like, I don't, like, will it ever come back? I mean, it takes a lot of fucking time to do cool shit like that. It, it will in, um, in, uh, 
indie games. Why? Yeah. Like, you know what I was thinking the other day was like, uh, there was a game where they, they hadn't been made in a long time. I can't remember what it was. But essentially, uh, uh, I, like, I was like, wait, what if they just made, like, a same quality version of the next game? No. You know, like, poor quality HD, or, like, uh, you know, shitty pixels or something like that. You ever see the first Max Payne? Yeah, Max oh. Payne is cool. Well, no, like, the first one, but it has, like, terrible oh, wow. graphics. Yeah. Like, it, it did not age well. Yeah. Um, so I was, like, thinking, like, well, I can't remember what fucking game it was, but, like, I was just thinking, like, well, what if they just made it the same quality? People would still love it, and they would have, like, even more of a nostalgia-type... Oh yeah, there's there's definitely like a retro like PS1, uh, PS2 aesthetic. Like that that is definitely an aesthetic now. I see that sometimes like tried to people try to go that for like horror games. Like they want to recreate that like Resident Evil like one like old school PS1 horror. Like that one, know, like that one with the bunny or whatever the hell that was. I Maybe. There's a bunny chasing but yeah, it around. The whole that whole generation is aesthetic now. Oh shit! I exited your match. <laughs> 